Well, very so shameful for you to have lost. We haven't lost, it was a strategic retreat. Doesn't matter, I'm not very interested in your military results anyway. So who is the girl next to you? She's Namcare, my younger sister. What? You don't look very related. Is it desire for your sister driven you to kidnap this poor girl? I'm merely joking. She's the true identity of a current outside invader of Leanbox. However, she only came to see me, so it's wrong to call her an invader. I see, so it was a misunderstanding. I apologize. You won't question me? I can't fly anywhere without a boat. I defeated several of this nation's soldiers. I'm not interested. The defeated soldiers seem to be fine, and moreover, I have no interest in you. Ah, uh, I feel that burn. Now, now, don't get upset, Nebgear. I'll comfort you properly after this. Now then, give me your report on the demon keg. What did you see there? Jack shit. Lots of enemies. I see. Good work. Give me a retire. Wait a second. Can I ask some questions? Questions? Isn't the world kind of strange? Why is it that you're willing of a lean box instead of the CPU? Why did you do all that? Why did you do all that? Uh, why did you all do? Sorry, I keep saying why. It's what did you all do during the tournament finals? Hmm. I have no interest in your questions. Please listen to me seriously. I'm not interested. If you need to run your mouth, you can go talk to that wall over there. Yeah, why won't you listen to me? Don't let it get to you, Nebgear. From what I've heard, she's always that way. More importantly, could you tell me about yourself and Planetune? Oh, right. I hadn't told you yet. Let's try to the hotel and speak your la- Just knew that was coming. Uh, Bert, why did we have to have this conversation in the- We were both quite worn out from the battle, so a bath made the most logical sense. Okay. Also, as a lady, you mustn't allow yourself to remain dirty for long. Because you crossed the sea, your hair has gotten this messy from the salty breeze. As I promised, I will painstakingly give you a scrub down from head to toe. What should I do? I'm kind of in a tight spot. Touchy, touchy, touch, touch. Ah, but that tickles! Your skin is so smooth. Oh, it feels so nice. Hey, your hand movements are starting to get, um, rather lewd. Ah, no, 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 don't go any further! I'm just kidding, you have such adorable reactions, I end up teasing you too much. Goodness, you're merciless. If you weren't joking, what would have happened to me? Do you wish to find out? No, 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 absolutely not! Aw, oh, what a shame. I would have welcomed you, Navgear. Now, speaking seriously, could you share with me the information you know, Navgear? Huh? Oh, okay, this started after you and the other CPUs have been defeated by Goldthart. The place was filled with a bright light, and then we CPU candidates were left by ourselves in the empty stadium. When we checked the date, for some reason it was several days after the festival, everyone had forgotten about the CPUs. It was as if we never existed at all. So it was the same over there. Then what of everyone else? Uni went to last station, Roman Ram returned to Louis. And Neptune is currently supporting Planetune with Ive and Compa. The secret organization and delusory monsters keep showing up, but it seems like they're able to deal with it somehow. The war was apparently suspected of being a member of the secret organization and has been arrested. She has! As soon as I found out, I immediately told Junie about it, so I think you should be okay. Is she alright on her own? She's okay. Junie's always hiding in the war shadow, so it doesn't, she doesn't stand out much, but... She's the most reliable, studious, and hard-working out of all of us. And she's learned a lot from Noir, so I'm sure she'll manage. You're quite confident in her. Yeah, she's my friend after all. Also, Roman and Ram have made it to Louis' safety, so they're trying to search the block. Hmm, just a moment. Why do you know so much about them after you parted ways? Actually, I just happened to be modeled our cell phone so we could communicate by radio as well. But since it's radio, the area in which we can connect is kind of limited. Ah, so that's why. Good work, Nightgear. I'm glad to hear everyone say. Okay, let's just check. Okay, you're new. According to my intel, this should be the place. I will let them get away this time. Now where to find tea? Choo choo! Choo 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 choo! Did anyone else notice it's a very badly redrawn virtue? There are so many rodents about it as if- wait, there! Oh, this cannot be good!
Is the god not here yet, you? I wanna play, you. Yeah, how long is he gonna make us wait, you? What does he really meet us here? Did we get tricked? I knew it, this is no god, you. He's not real. Apologies for the wait, everyone, you. <laughs> it's so fucking ridiculous. Look at his fucking face. It doesn't work. He's really here and he lives! The god lives, Squeak! Oh, I'm so thankful, Squeak! No, no, no need for that. Raise your heads. Here, take this as my apology for being late, Squeak. It's brand new. I just cracked it myself. No charge. You can sell it or seed it or do whatever the hell you want with it. There's so many titles here! How did you manage such a feat? It's truly miraculous. Even after the security increased, you've done this. You are a bona fide god! Cracked it himself? Can sell or seed it. Wait. Oh my word, I stumbled into a den of thieves! This is illegal in gaming activity! These are pirates! Now, allow us to trade our... Not another word, it seems like we have a rat amongst us. Here. Huh? Tiss, tiss, tiss. Look at your fucking face. You thought we wouldn't notice you? Curiosity is about to get this big kitty killed, you. I'm surrounded! When did that happen? My mind damns in distress. You've heard too much. We can't let you off the hook now, lady. On the contrary, Fiend, you will regret the day I discovered your operations. As a person who loves gaming from the bottom of her heart, I will punish you! <laughs> you sure are an annoying lady. Bitter up, boys, too. Stew! Everyone, be careful! I'm really fighting this thing. Wait, am I actually surrounded? Holy shit, I'm on the screen! Man, this is cool! <laughs> that shit will never get old, that's all. Leave this to me! Okay, I'm over here. It is my and turn. Up. Useless. It's my turn! Yep, I'm just gonna kill this. This'll do it! Yeah. Die Sorry on the leg! Uh this one? Side turn. Go. Eat that. Okay, heavily wins. It's my turn. Uh, where's the guy that was? Oh, there. That's right. What shall I do? And you're dead too. I think I let you get away now, was I? Well, see ya. Quite easy. Yay! I leveled up. They're all scattering about. Which one's the mastermind? Probably the one with a human body. Ooh, she's pretty good. Yeah, but at the end of the day, there's only one of her and there's no way she can defeat us all. Cheer, cheer, cheer! Wait, there's another group? These rats are battling me while the main troop is running. Chew, a beautiful girl and underlings are running around getting all kinds of messed up. How entertaining. I'm glad you're getting a kick out of this, but don't forget our deal. Oh, my apologies, Chew. Back to business. We should go somewhere quieter to continue our trading, Chew. Goodbye, pretty lady. May the deity of sin bless. Huh? The deity of sin? What did you just say? Wait! Hey, look over here, jerk. Yeah, if you want to keep talking to those guys, you have to beat us first. Yeah, <laughs> like that'll happen. Chew? What's going on? Catch a rat, kill a rat. Catch a god, kill a god. The door, the sword does not, the door, the sword does not discriminate. Hello, nice piece of hat. Oh, you do it. Who the hell are you? Defeated. Ah. Who are you? My name is Nitro Plus. I'm here to help. Okay. My name is Nitro Plus, I'm here to do what? Okay, I need to do that. There we go. Nitro Plus. <laughs> it's not even because of her fucking bikini, look at her head! Holy shit, you can But look at her fucking head! <laughs> I see it's fucking stupid. <laughs> 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 
Super Sonic Go Ethnic Cup. Like in our pocket ad. <laughs> That's our enemy. <laughs> How should I eat? It's just too fucking funny. <laughs> Look at her head, it's just bobbing around. <laughs> okay, I'm killing some stuff. Yeah! <laughs> it is my turn. So fucking stupid. <laughs> Who's next? Who's you know? Who wish you mad world? Creating an illusion through the belt of madness. The enemy's physical and elemental to bless and drop. That's a golf and important and fire finish him off the fire. Die, loser! Evil Leave should be cut! What about your children? Do it. Down. Jeez, yeah. Sorry! Whoever. Did everyone see how I did? My beauty has been further polished! Why do I keep ge getting given heroes? The boss rat is nowhere to be found. He must have snuck away amidst all the commotion. However, thanks to you, I was able to put an end to their illegal trading. You have my gratitude. I was just in it to slash evil do us and like to thank me. Anyway, take a look at this photo. Does this look like the rat that just got away? Yeah, that's definitely the rat from earlier. I don't recall seeing him on any warning list before, though. Even after all that trouble in finding our trade site, I was too late. What else do you know about that rat? What don't I know about him? I've traveled all the way from the PC continent hunting him down. PC continent? It's beyond the eastern sea, right? But why? Why would rats in such a place revere the deity's sin? Let me explain. It doesn't speak much. Me! What is that piece of meat? Is that a piece of meat? Why is meat speaking? There's no meat. There's no way a meat would speak. My name is Raw Meat. Yeah, so your name is Raw Meat. Nice to meet you, I'm Vert. It's a pleasure to meet you, Bertie. Did you just refer to me as Bertie? Goodness. Raw well, meat that bears the ability to speak is suspicious, but if you truly are too well mannered to be evil, even if you do look like a fairly thin slice of sirloin. Anyway, it is a pleasure to meet you. Yes, likewise. Please allow me, please allow me to continue my explanation. Meat. Not long ago, meat. This continent held an organization that worshipped the deity of sin. Yes, I'm quite familiar with them. R4 once used the organization to throw everything into chaos. Oh, good. You're familiar with them. That makes this easy. So this rat is a remnant of that organization. And here I thought all traces of that organization were gone. I think they've been hiding for so long. There have been rats moving about the content the countries, but their op operators haven't seen uh, haven't been very active. And I stopped biting my tongue. I was speaking a fucking normal sentence. Their operations were active solely in the PC continent, where they were illegally dit where they illegally distributed games. The ringleader of all this is named Horichu. Horichu. He was in that picture. We had him cornered once, but he escaped in the nick of time, meet. So you've chased him all the way to Leanbox, I take it? Yes, do you think you can help us locate him? It's my first time in this country, and I don't know my way. Of course, I'm the CPU of Leanbox. It's my sworn duty to put an end to criminals such as that one. The CPU? Oh, that's right. Your continent doesn't have a CPU, does it? In a matter of speaking, I govern this country. Huh? Please do not treat me any different, though. I have no interest in formalities. You were a guest in my home country. I'd love to be friends with you. Of course, if there's anything I can do to help Leanbox while I'm here, let me know. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, same goes for meat as well. Indeed, let's have... Okay. Um, I'm still a novice, really, but I'll try my hardest. Really, really confused. Actually, for the sake of not being completely broken, I'll put God here in front. It was combo, I think. Combo. Thank you for only got like three minutes. Right, ready. Equipment. For those that are curious. It's <laughs> <laughs> still so fucking stupid. Look at the hat! Just look at the fucking hat! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but that shit's just funny. Right, Super Sonic Go. Guessing this goes with it. Uh, guessing, yeah. This? There you go. Mostly that's Super Sonic Go. You can see right out that skirt, can't you, Justin? <laughs> anyway, um, ethnic coterie who wait. You sure? What the hell is this? From the game Tokyo Necro. Anyone play Tokyo Necro? Why right, not to? Better. Seriously, who the hell? Uh, intruding nitro. I don't know what nitro's put in. Stay back to normal. 
Nitro. This? It looks nice like that. Still, so you got the fucking scar. <laughs> but anyway. But yeah. Look. A quick rest sounds delightful. Anyway. Anything else? Defeat evil! Q! Help! Yeah, what a. Q! This is the last of them. He's not here. I think I was too late. You're just like a superhero bent on serving justice no matter the price. That's remarkably cool. No, I wouldn't call this justice. But you come all this way to defeat a criminal for the sake of your country. Wouldn't you call that justice? I may be able to justify my actions in terms of the law, but physical violence isn't equal to. I truly, a truly just and peaceful world wouldn't have a place where something is so violent in martial arts. Weapons, military, even people such as you and me, we would have no place in a world like that. Do you really think me swinging this around is justice? Do you, re do you find this to be a peaceful act? However, just as good things will find good people, evildoers will also get what's coming to them. Those who commit crimes will be destroyed. Those who torn will be cursed by heaven's vengeance. This is where my faith lies. So Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. All I have to do is believe that evil will always be eradicated from this world. Yeah. This place has been wiped clean. Let's head to the next location, Bart. You really do, Shono. Sure Alright, nice location. Hey, so I have a question. Your partner raw meat. What is she? I'm not sure I follow you. She's just raw meat. That's not what I meant to ask. How do I put this? Is she actually a food product, or does she happen just happen to look like meat? And her name is ironically also raw. My, I really am um, not making sense. I sound like a crazy person just asking these things. Raw meat is an adorable. Sh what? How could you say she looks like a piece of meat? Are you okay? Hey, Beverly, fine, thank you. How could you say she looks like a human girl? <gasps> oh no, have you been in an accident recently? No, I haven't. I see the world normally. But you've become- we've become friends. It would have been so cool if you were human. What? Uh, what do you mean? I meant exactly what I said. Do I perhaps look like meat to you? Well, yes actually. Marble meat. Even of the highest qual- highest, highest grade. This whole town is made of meat. Take a look around here and there are piles of meat walking everywhere. Don't worry though, I have no qualms with any species of- what? You said me as meat this whole time? Then tell me, my prized blonde hair, how does it look? Blonde hair? You mean a stringy ground meat coming out of your head? What? And one of my voluptuous breasts? Breasts? Oh, I see. I mean, that's technically brisket. Huh? No, myself in the world I saw. It was all fake. This place, it's so cruel. <laughs> huh? I'm totally playing with you. I thought you'd fall for it. So me and the citizens here look like pal look, are looking like pals of meat. Yeah, I'm joking about that. You do have long hot blonde hair and a pretty sizable chest, right? You, you. Yeah, what a relief. Uh, you're so mean for tricking me. I'm sorry, but it didn't make sense. It didn't make. Yeah, but didn't it make you question your reality? I don't believe truth is limited to what we can physically perceive. I'm sure there's more here than we can see. That is what raw meat taught me. To me, she's an adorable girl, my first friend, so very dear to me. Silver, even if you were a beep and a beep town of meat. A beep and beep. I'll always be your friend. Um, that's sweet, but. That last bit of the end bothers me. I really have human shape. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, really? That's it? I was curious about how the whole meat thing was gonna play. I really wonder if I'll be of any help. I feel plus looks nice. And you do count on it. Anyway, right. <laughs> um, Esha, could you tell me more about Gold Third? I'm not interested. Um, but it's about yourself. Well, you won't lose anything by telling her, Esha. Having a generous heart, that's the ability of a king. I have no interest in such abilities. But I guess it would kill time. Then, just this once. Thank you very much. Then, first, please tell me about Gold Third. 
They're the new rulers of game industry. Uh, um. What? That's all you'll tell me! They're similar to the CPUs. If there's nothing else you wish to ask me, I'll be leaving now. Um, how about why did you become a part of Gold Third Extra? That was guided by the prophecy. No, by the Golden Summit. That's all. Uh, could you explain in more detail? One day, B. Sha, the Gold Third is currently ruling Planet Doom, found a book which had a prophecy written in it. When we decrypted the prophecy, we went to the areas that the book indicated and found Golden Dressel. It was then that our powers awoken. Oh, so you weren't our Gold Third from the very beginning? That's correct. We came up with the name Gold Third spontaneously during an ex exhibition match. By the way, why did you decide to barge into the exhibition match and challenge our sisters anyway? At the time the four of us had obtained such grand power, we were in quite good spirits. Someone blurted it out that we should test our strength against the CPUs, and we immediately moved into action. None of us ever imagined that we'd actually win, though. I see, so that's the story behind Gold Third. Yeah, I didn't think you would win either until you wouldn't let me hurt you. But isn't that order more strange? You're the one who's strange, Bert. I think this way is the right way. How odd. What are you two arguing about? Really? <laughs> She's in disguise with the sunglasses. Nice sunglasses, though. Oh, hello, Esha. Perfect timing. Now that Esha is here, we don't need to... Wait, why don't we have her settle this once and for all? What are you on about? The one question we've had since the series has begun. Have the burden the horse hybrid creation? <laughs> one question we've had since the series has begun. How the burden horse hybrid creature should be called. It should be horse bird, right? No, 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 no. Bird horse sounds much better. This is what you were arguing about. It should be obviously called Chip. Ah! <laughs> Boo. Of course. <laughs> That was really close. How careless of me. I asked this question to the wrong person. Uh, so it's no coincidence that she just happened to look like fucking lightning. Yeah, so it, it just happened to be... It, of course it should be called Choco. Do you know what a dandelion is? That flower where the seeds scatter every which way in the wind? How do you think those seeds feel when they land in the desert and never get the chance to bloom into something beautiful? Nitro Bros is a freaking essay for a conversation piece. <laughs> anyway, investment. Money! And now we're broke. Um, are you possibly Bert? Yeah, I am. Who are you? I am the result of 4,000 years of research of a certain nation. My name is Peter. I wish to prove my effectiveness, so I wish to help a soldier like yourself. My, how wonderful. I was just getting lonely from a lack of allies. You're quite welcome. Thank you, Beep Boop. What the fuck is that? You know what? Uh, it's just better not to question things. <laughs> Who's there? So you were aware of me, as expected of Gold Third. Who are you? Have you come to assassinate me? I can't allow you to attack me as I currently am. I'll put up a struggle if you attempt anything. Don't be so full of yourself. I'm not interested in your worthless life. I came here to talk to you. Not interested. Even if I were to tell you how to improve your soldier's strength and proficiency? Hmm? It seems you're regulating information, but the citizens will know of your failure with the Demon King's resurrection soon. And what do you plan to do by threatening me? How upsetting. I'm not threatening you, I just want to make a deal. A deal? Phew, that was a lovely bath. Indeed, Neptune. Why don't we have a cold drink before we head to my room? The drinks from this hotel's cafe are delicious. That sounds nice. In order, I'll go get us a drink. So, what would you like, Bert? Oh no, allow me, Neptune. Are you sure? Could you get me an orange, cold orange juice, please? Oh. I know. I'll use this opportunity to get information on the other nations from new sites. Hmm. There's so many sites. I'm not sure which to check. Hmm. Is that Asha? Why is she? Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's your orange juice. Yep, thank you. What did you get? I'm having a nice tea. Uh, what's that you're looking at? It's a news site. I thought I'd get info on the other nations, but there's too many news sites to sort out. I don't know where to start. I recommend this pay news is uh, this news somebody blog titled Ant General Somebody site. A somebody website? They reprint articles from Anchan as well as any popular news articles. You can narrow your point, sir. 
Why, you're right. This says can I set it for every article, so it'll be easy to search. Thank you, Bert. When it comes to the internet, you're always so reliable. Although I always appreciate your praise, my darling Nepku. I wasn't even aware of this site until a few days ago. It seems to have recently become powerful and I don't know who manages it, but they seem to summarize news 24-7. But don't forget that those summarizing, that those summarizing these articles are people of, with their own opinions. There are times when the way they summarize the news is used to sway public opinion. Okay, I'll be careful. Let's return to our room soon. We can continue looking at the site with the computer. I think because I'm here every day, I'm beginning to get attached to this room. Oh. What's up, Bert? There was a letter dropped in front of the door. It's addressed to me, but who's it from? There's no sign of red. Well, let's read it then. Um, let's see. Please stop Eshia before it's too late. What do you think that means? I don't But the person who sent this letter probably knows we're in close in a close position to Eshia. It does seem to be a prank it doesn't seem to be a prank though. Esha, what could she possibly be hiding?